Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Glacier Ridge campaign, uh, part of our Worst D&D channel conglomeration of campaigns. You should check out some of our other ones, like our um, Shattered Earth campaign, Call of Cthulhu campaign that we did. They're pretty good. Check them out. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, this is our new one. This is our Glacier Ridge campaign. It's a Monster of the Week campaign instead of uh, D and D. Um, so unfortunately, it's not D and D. But unfortunately, Twitch doesn't give us an option for anything else. So you're stuck with watching this, even though it's not done in the Dragons. It's still a TTRPG, so it it lines up. Um. Okay, so, um, like I said, this is Monster of the Week campaign. If you don't know what Monster of the Week is, it is a TTRPG based on your favorite Monster of the Week TV series. What is a Monster of the Week TV series? Think of any series that they're fighting a different monster every single week, uh, and that is considered a Monster of the Week series. Um, examples would be Supernatural... Um, they like to comment every time I do this that Scooby-Doo is technically a Monster of the Week. I think Doctor Who is technically a Monster of the Week. Um, I think um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is definitely a Monster of the Week. Yeah, it's it's a bunch of... bunch of I could probably list a bunch. Um, but this is ours. And... <laughs> It's been multiple weeks and they're still fighting the same monster, so I apologize about that. But, in all fairness, it's only been, I think, eight days in-game. So it's just a little bit over a week. Monster of the two weeks. Monster of the week in a day. We. Are you, you okay I there, uh, Charlie? I am in pain. What'd you do? Oh, shut up, Google. That's What'd weird. you do? I went outside to get Luna to come inside, and she had the zoomies. So I chased her because she was enjoying it, and I ended up falling over and hurt myself. <laughs> okay. Good work. Um, all right. Continue, continue on, DM. Yes. So we'll just go over a quick recap as to what we did last week. Um, so, first things first, we had a little meeting in the morning where you guys kind of talked about uh, what the plan was and you guys decided the best way to go about things was when the equipment shows up, set it up in Charlie's room because that's a great spot for it. By equipment, in case you guys haven't watched previous episodes, <coughs> equipment is talking about the diesel heaters and lights and things that you guys ordered a while ago and finally showed up, or finally were going to show up today. Um, they, yeah, they made the decision that Charlie's room was inside the hotel, by the way, was the best place to set up all this equipment. Um, we can vent it outside through the window. Sure. Uh, then, while they were also discussing this, they decided, we're going to go investigate the ruins. So, they made the decision that that was what they were going to do. So, they arrived at the ruins and started hearing noise coming from inside the ruins. Uh, the noise was a humming uh, of a song that they had never heard before. Um, they were unsure as to what it was. When they went inside, they actually saw a figure that actually looked familiar to Maxine. It was Isabella. Isabella explained that this was the meeting place for worshippers of Dionysus um, because they felt like it. Um, <laughs> she kept on offering people wine. Uh, Wyatt kept on trying to get wine. Um, yeah, it was a whole thing. Um, and then 
they started exploring the ruins. They found a few different things, uh, hidden passage that kind of led down into like a round room. In the round room, there was writing on the wall. Uh, the writing on the wall was in a different language that they couldn't understand, but they ended up finding basically a coffin in the room with a guy who kind of looked like he was important, like some sort of shaman or chieftain. Um, and then Frankie used their amazing power called Oops that allowed them to find um, something, something of importance. Um, they found a journal hidden in the wall that looked very old. Um, it was filled with again this writing that they didn't understand nobody understood uh, then they kind of explored a little bit deeper and they found a room filled with pools of water uh, Wyatt dipped his toes in the water and found out that it was warm they found some geothermal pools hidden away in these ruins there was candles and stuff lining all the walls uh, and then yeah uh, Frankie ended up pushing Wyatt into the pool and Wyatt pulled Frankie into the pool uh, and then as they were messing around in the pool a little bit they started hearing footsteps coming down the hallway and Isabella came to check on the uh, candles that she had lit and told them that these pools had healing properties because of the mineral deposits and stuff that was in the mountain um, then they continued exploring a little bit, found more of these writings on the wall, uh, and decided that the fact that they weren't able to be contacted in here because they were starting to go like underground, they thought it would be best to head back to town. So they headed back to town. Uh, Frankie did a bit more research on the ancient journal. Um, Victor and Maxine set up the trap for Elias in Charlie's room, and Frankie then went with to go Char with Charlie. With was Charlie, Charlie was there. Sure. sure, Charlie was there totally. Um, then Frankie went to go see Victoria for help with the journal, and Victoria let Frankie know that this was possibly evidence <coughs> of an ancient civilization that was rumored to be uh, around this area 3,000 years ago. Um, so Frankie's freaking out a little bit, getting all excited that they may have discovered something great. Um, Tom kind of downplays it a little bit, saying that he'll, he'd be losing one of his team members, and that's not uh, super exciting. Um, anyway, that's pretty much where we ended. Um, uh, Charlie, uh, Charlie doesn't have his he headphones on, so can't hear. Okay. Can wave at him? Must have fell on his ear, hurt his ear, couldn't put his headphones on. No, waving doesn't do anything. Charlie! Oh, I think he's on a phone call. Because he's talking. Huh. Charlie! Yeah. Break your camera. What? I joined oh. Skype. If I broke your camera, I apologize. You did. Did you leave? No. Never mind. You didn't. It just was. Welcome back. Sorry, I got a call. Yeah, we could tell.
Um, I can't remember why I was talking to you. There was a reason. I did hear you yell Charlie when I was in the middle of the call. Yeah, there was a reason that I was talking to you, and I can't remember what it was now. We started talking about the by stealing whatever in the room. Oh, yeah. So they they set up the stuff in the room. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. That was pretty much everything that happened last week. In a nutshell. Um, oh, uh, Maxine was supposed to level up. Oh, yeah. That oh, was what right. I was talking to Charlie about. Um, if you, you guys got one experience point last week. So if you needed one experience point to level up, you can level up. I said I was going to look at it, but I never did. Shocker. Well, you have time no now. No one reminded me. You have time now. I have no experience, so yes. Yeah. <laughs> Your dogs are freaking out. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I can add this. Uh, no. Oh. So you need to look at this thing over here. Maxine, you can do plus one charm, plus one sharp, plus one tough, take another gumshoe move, take another gumshoe move, gain a haven, add four additional or new contacts for Naked City, or add an extra harm box on the dying side. So if you're going to take another gumshoe move, then yeah. we got to go and look at your other gumshoe moves that are available. So, in his thing here, he's got the monster of the week. I can I can Wonder. see them here. If you if you just go on to roll twenty, you can see all of them. Is it the tome or the revised? Just go on to roll twenty. It's all on there. So you can get the postman always rings twice, twice per mystery. As long as you follow your code, you may re-roll a roll. Uh, the long goodbye, you can't die with an open case. Um, Jessica Jones entry, you roll charm um, when you double talk your way into a secure location. Um, on a 10 plus, you pick three. On a seven to nine, you pick two. On a fail, you pick one. Um, out of the past, you have a police buddy who will do you big favors, get in touch with them, blah, 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 uh, hacker with the dragon tattoo. When you hack into a computer system, roll plus sharp on a 10 plus pick two on a seven and nine, pick one, uh, you, and then there's choices. And then the Columbo thing, just one more thing. When you ask a suspect leading questions, roll plus charm. On a 10 plus, hold 2. On a 7 and 9, hold 1. On a miss, hold 1. But something bad is going to happen, too. I wonder if that would be okay. Because especially that one. What is something you left out that you didn't want me to notice? Dun, dun, dun. So I feel like that's similar to what... Uh, I feel like that's something to... What's that one that she's always rolling? Or they're always rolling? The one that she used the last time we played. Oops. The oops. And the oops, she actually gets something. Oh, the asphalt jungle's pretty good, have too. That. Oh, I have that. Go back up. Or the postman. Because some of my rolls are pretty sucky. But do you always follow your code? I always follow my code. What is your code? Because you don't have anything written. Oh. Then no. <laughs> Doesn't know what it is, but she always follows it. Like, I always, I always follow. follow my code. My <laughs> code is like nothing. I have no trouble following it. It's like Because I don't have a code. Yeah. I live by no code. Pick a one-sentence code to adhere to. There you go. Anything goes. That's Perfect right. Code. Always be able to follow. Always be somewhat nice to people. Always be somewhat nice. Yes, unless they're jerks. Then you don't have to be nice to them. 
Okay, which one are you picking? Are you gonna Columbo it? Yeah, I think the Columbo. That sounds like you. But just one more thing. Okay, done. Clicked it. You already clicked it. See how it's red squared? Okay. Oh, and you have two harms still. Haven't we slept? I don't know, probably. I feel like we've slept since that. Yeah, probably. I, I'm not well, here I to keep. I'm not here I to didn't... keep track of your harm. You guys gotta keep track of well, your. Well, I harm. didn't. I didn't know when her harm goes away. So. Is it like a good sleep or no? Unless it's like critical, then yeah. I didn't have any then critical. Have no harm. Okay, my harm is gone because I feel like we've slept okay. a couple nights since then. Okay. All right. So. Ready to rock and roll. You guys are setting up in Charlie's room with Charlie, apparently. So, Charlie, um, do you have any direction for these like, people? I feel like, put it over here. Um, make it discreet and make sure it's not vented into the room. Why? What's wrong? I want to wake up. Yeah. New character. Wake up. Wake up, <laughs> shake up. What happened to the last security guard? Carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh, so That's nothing bad. That's a dummy. It's a little bit of a dummy. No, it's just a little bit stupid. So yeah, that's what we figure is that we're... Oh, so... Victor here has got a Dr. Pepper coconut... No, creamy coconut. I showed uh, the keeper. Yeah. This drink. Have you tried that? No. I don't think... I don't know if it's you would disgusting. like it. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. growing on me. I didn't like it at first, but now it's no, like it's disgusting. Getting the you didn't like it, so you kept drinking more. Well, he like, is, I, he well, I'm it. not wasting it. I spent money. He bought it. It was. It wasn't cheap. Just sell them. No, it was just sell one. Open. You just bought one. I bought one because I'm not crazy. Uh, like, yes. I thought you bought a pack. No, just Ooh. one. He doesn't even like Dr. Pepper. He just thought, hey, this would be good. I'll well, drink a likes, Dr. Pepper. He likes, he likes coconut. So he thought. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Okay. So. So Frankie's still gone to see Victoria, right? Victoria? I mean, no, technically, I no. Victoria. He, uh, she, they, he, she, they um, came, came back back and talk to tom about it so she they man um might just be around okay but they haven't spoke to us yet though right um we were, yeah because none of us were downstairs i don't think so then yeah no but, and wyatt was is he back? doing yeah. footage stuff in his room Oh, right. That's what he said he was going to do. So that we could, uh... We could have him not be around much. Anyway. Okay, so what time of day is it still? Like... Um... Probably around, like, three or four. Okay, because we talked about it's nothing really happens till night. And they went to talk to Victoria. They said, I don't know, we, we don't know what's going on with that yet. How can we try to make sure the creature comes back tonight? Yeah, I think we were actually talking about that as to 
how we are going to tempt. I think the question was asked. I said Charlie had a plan. <laughs> so you guys are putting a lot on me when I'm well, distracted. Let's try Yes, when Charlie's <laughs> when Charlie's not here, we're like everything for Charlie. There was something said in two games or three games back or whatever it was that uh, you were going to use the notes. The yeah, but we need to. Of... The notes are the bait, but why will it come back thinking I have the notes when I didn't have them last time? Yeah, because we were even talking about like his house being. Or his cabin being demolished, like burnt in many, many places. So we were trying to figure out where. So if we can make could... him realize that I have the notes or make him think I have the notes, he will come back. But how do we get that out there? See, that's why I'm thinking maybe we should go talk to Rachel and see, like, how, like, why she went certain places or why. Yeah. Well, when I talked to her, she essentially went places hunting for the stuff from her past. So I'm, I'm not sure how to get his attention. It's like, yeah, but because they have know. different experiences. Yeah, but all we were saying was maybe there might be a like a, a thought as to because it's like she kept going back to that cave all the time, right? Like that's where she put her maybe. journal but it's like so maybe he would go back to his cabin even though there's not much left of it there I don't think I'm not sure did we like burn it to the ground no right yep did we yes yep okay you just kept on watching Be happy it. it's winter so uh the fire didn't spread yeah no I'd be happy it was a clearing in the area yeah so I'm wondering whether but we should... if it wasn't winter, the grass could still burn. True. So I'm wondering whether we should... I don't know. Like, I think we, should we, have time to, we have time to kill, so we could go and talk to Rachel and see if she has any ideas as to... Uh, like, I, I realize they're two different, totally different people, but she might have some ideas to... Well, she worked with him, so she might have an idea as oh, to... Oh, fair enough. Like, his type of thinking. That's the only thing I can think of that... And we can see if there's some way of tempting him. Because I feel like she would want him dealt with as quickly as possible, too. Because, like I said, we don't want it to escalate or him to transform into the next uh, part of this being type of thing because he's not there yet okay so we want to head over to the mill then sure i can drive you got things locked down here charlie yeah i think so all right we'll be back oh charlie's not okay. going with you no he could go with us Good. There's nothing for him to do. Well, it's like, I don't know what else he can do here besides just wait. Well, he's not going to show up till night. Yeah, I'll, I'll come. But, yeah, Charlie, just stay by okay. yourself here. Thanks. Just stay in your room. We're leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. If anybody knocks, don't answer. <laughs> there's, pe there's pizza money on the dresser. All okay, right. so it's not that far, is it? No. The mill? No, nothing's really that far. Uh, but driving out there is even faster, so it literally takes you like five minutes. Literally. Okay. Ugh. All right, so uh, you walk up to the chain link fence go through the hole that you normally are going through. Do you have a picture of the mill? No. Do you need a picture no. of the mill? No, that's fine. Yes, yeah, we need a picture. We do. Just kidding, that. <laughs> I, I can't, like, put myself into this situation if I don't have a picture. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. could you throw up a fence that has a hole in it? That would be great, too. Yeah, I can't picture a hole in a fence, either. Like, 
Text. I need the Text. details in the picture. <laughs> yes. I cannot get over how much he's turning into a mountain, a mountain man. Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie slowly morphing into a Grizzly Adams. Grizzly Adams, yes. Because I forgot you... to trim my beard. Oh. That's not my thing. Did he? She turned down you. Yeah. The cat turned down his. Nathan started volume. talking, and it was nothing. No, he because I forgot volume. to trim my beard. Yeah. Yes. Getting. And if beard. you actually Google Grizzly Adams, you look like Grizzly Adams. So. Yeah. He's a big, tall guy. Okay. All right. So we're heading into the mill. What's the other guy's name? Rachel and Johnny, Bobby, Ralph, Ray. Philip, Freddy. What's the other guy's uh, name? I'll let you keep guessing. Steve. Instead it's of asking, Steve. I'll let you keep guessing. <laughs> Joe. No. That's closer. Leopold. How is Leopold close to Joe? Jack. It's Jason. Oh. I'd have gone in there. <laughs> Eventually. Leopold. That one's that one's perfect. Okay, so hello. It's just us again. It's Maxine and Victor and Charlie. You guys around? Hello? Uh, hello? Rachel? It's just us. There's oh, no hi. one else here. How are you doing here? I know we brought you some stuff. Did you guys need anything else? Are you guys okay or? Oh yes, we're fine. Um... um, no, I think we're okay with what you brought last time. Um, I don't think there's okay. any any need for any additional items. I think we're all right. And he's still not talking to me, so it's a little boring here. Ah, well, that's oh. What a nice place you got here. I'm just looking around at your surroundings now. Fascinating. <laughs> anyway, so the guys and I were talking, and we're we've got the equipment that Charlie and Victor seem to think will help with capturing, but. I'm not sure, we're not really sure how to draw him to where we are. We were just wondering whether you had any, well, if you can remember like why you went certain places or anything like that, we're just trying to figure out how we're going to lure him to the hotel or the lodge. No, it's not a lodge, it's like a... Well, as I stated, he's likely in the nesting phase right now, so he'd be looking for items related to him. Right, Charlie did remember you saying that. Yeah, but how do we let him know we have those items? Because we took... He did He did talk to it like he was saying that we could take the stuff, but it's like, it's, yeah. Well, that's, I think, why he went and saw Charlie, yeah. It was, it was you and Charlie that knew that took the stuff. Right. And he didn't come visit me. He's only visited Charlie. But yeah, I'm just, we're just trying to, before the evening comes, because we know you said nighttime is the, is the time. But we're yes. just trying to think of diff different ways that, is there anywhere we could go that we could kind of hint or even um, leave a note. <laughs> I mean, his home? The cabin? Yes. Okay. You yeah. did, you do know that we burnt that down, right, though? Or no? I didn't know that. That was very irresponsible. Why would you do that? Um, that was a man's home. Yeah. 
That was... I left them alone for one day. Well, apparently you shouldn't that... do that anymore. If, if you leave them alone and they burn down a building every time, then that is starting to be on you. Yeah, last time I wasn't with them, they broke into the police station. I that you'd think I'd learn. So, criminal activity whenever you leave them alone. Eventually that becomes yeah, it, your fault now, doesn't it? It was, you know, it was an whole, accident. It you wasn't... know the whole fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me? Yeah, I'm somewhere around there. Yeah. Okay. But again, it was an accident. Nothing was done. We weren't trying to do it on purpose. We didn't come there specifically to burn the man's house down. But it Are you just, sure? that's what happened. Yeah. Pretty positive. Okay. Pretty positive. But yeah, so we're just trying to think of different I yeah. We keep talking about the cabin, but it's like we haven't gone there. But it's like there's really nothing left there, so. But. Is there anywhere else that he, like, spent time, do you know, besides the cabin? Um. That was where we were doing the majority of our research. Okay. Uh, Rachel. The mist that you guys put out, the fog, uh, can you hear things being said in the fog back to you or no? What do you mean? I mean, like, if you're not near it, but the fog is around, can do those messages get relayed to you? Like, no. I know the fog gives the fog out a is, message. The fog is something else. All right. Yes, we can exude fog, but the fog that speaks to us is not connected with us. If there's anything else in my notes that I can think of that we can use. You guys want to go out to where the cabin is? Like... Yeah. Or where it was. I mean, that might not be a bad idea. As for leaving notes, he shouldn't be too far gone at this point, so he should still have the majority of his humanity left. So that should work, but no guarantees, I guess. Yeah. Doesn't hurt to try. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, Alright, well... Thank you for your time, Rachel. We'll be back to check on you a day or two. Yeah, and let us know if there's anything that you're that you're uh, needing or anything, or if you want to see anything or go anywhere. Like even if we do it later at night, where it's like nobody's really gonna see you. But hopefully, hopefully Jason and you, or Jason, will start talking to you. Kind of sucks that uh, he's not really opening up to you or I, talking to you at all i don't think he's too pleased that you guys left me here because this was kind of his place and now we're intruding on his place did you want to go somewhere else or are you okay here i mean i'm fine i was alone for two years right Okay. Well, I guess uh, we'll head out to the cabin then. Alright, let's see, we're off. Okay. Drive, 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 drive as far as we can. Drive, 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 drive. And then walk, 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 walk. And as they walked, I walk with them. <laughs> trip. What? I tripped. Oh. Oh. I thought he said. I thought he said rip. I thought so too. Which I'm like, who's dead? <laughs> and I'm like, who died? Uh, Nobody yet. Or, or he tooted. 
Crap. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay. So, you guys are heading out to the cabin? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... Hmm. As you go uh, on your way, of course, you're going to encounter the lovely fog that's in the woods. Um, whispering sweet nothings in your ear. Char yeah. Charlie's not hearing anything, is he? What do you mean, Charlie's not hearing anything? Why would he not be hearing anything? Last, I felt like last time it was Charlie that was hearing all the most of the talking. No, I heard extra talking. Yeah, but he heard we talking. All heard the whispers. Yeah, you all heard whispers, but he heard talking while you guys were in the cabin. Okay. Um. Trying to, trying to decide something on the fly here. Um, give me one second. I need to look at when this when this happened. Um, this. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, it was. It was less than. It was like less than twenty four hours ago. So yeah, it, yeah. Uh, okay. So you make it through the fog, and you go to the burnt remains of the cabin in the woods. What you doing there, Charlie? Don't worry Talk about it. Talking to his dogs. I don't think he was even talking to them. It looked like he was like dancing with them. Aww. They like watching me do weird things. Okay, you're you're there. That's what I'm saying. What are you What are you doing? Hey, okay. is he here? You do not see any evidence of it. But there but, is fog all around us. Yeah, in the circle. You you entered the clearing of like no fog. You know how every time you get near get near the altar, there's the clearing of no fog? Mm -hmm. That's that's where you are. So do we just leave a note and hope he reads it? Hello? So we're just gonna say so Charlie said. Yeah. Charlie said you just leave a note? I guess. Be like, dear alive. Sorry, we, we put it in your house. Yes, we have your it stuff. It saved most of your stuff. It's at Charlie's room now. Room, whatever room number it is. Room, whatever room number. Room yes. XO, C. XO. <laughs> Get the room number off by one and actually set, accidentally send him to Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Poor Wyatt's just trying to do some video editing. <laughs> okay, so what what are you actually putting in the note? Well, I don't know if we want to get all work. It's like, yeah. We it we did talk to him. Like, it's not like 
he doesn't know who we are. But Correct. did we tell him that we burnt down his? I don't I think, think so. before trying to bring him to be near us, we should tell him that we're the ones that burnt down his house. It's not going to make him any, like, better. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so it would be like, sorry about your house. Don't know. No. <laughs> don't know who, who did, did that. Who did it's like, we're not sure what happened to your house. We came looking for you, but we see your house is gone. It's a real whodunit, it is. <laughs> so, yeah. but Frankie's not here. We could just throw her under the bus. Frank, Frankie. The it's all Frankie's fault. We're sorry Frankie burnt down your house. Yes. Their room number is... <laughs> yeah so we can leave the burning the house out just so yeah it's like we, we we managed to save some of your stuff yes you're welcome we did you a huge solid yeah we it's came like, across your house burning down we ran yeah, in too. heroically grabbed some of the stuff we tried to get we tried to save the house, but we thought we should save the stuff. So we just took the only the stuff that we told you a while ago we were taking and nothing else. And I know it doesn't smell smoky, but that's because we were so fast. Yes. We cleaned it all already. We oxygen well, like needed it. No, I think something like it's yes we came looking for you we wanted to let you yeah we wanted to let you know that we've got the stuff back at back in town so if you're interested in seeing, getting your stuff again or whatever that type of thing if you're interested in never seeing your stuff again you better show up between we have your stuff we're setting up a trap the trap is in this room please come yes Okay. Love, Charlie. Yes. XOXO. Yeah. It's not, like he hasn't been there. not that he hasn't been there already, because he's already visited Charlie in his room, so. Kissy, kissy. All right. So, where are you leaving this? Are you just gonna put it in a stake in on a stake in the ground or what? On the burnt remnants of his old desk. With a rock. <laughs> a rock sitting on top of it. Now it has to be noticeable, like it's gotta be something where you could see it. Victor's gonna make uh big arrows in the snow pointing to just the like walking with yeah. his feet just great big long arrows with my feet okay pointing to where they're putting the note okay seems legit and i feel like that's part of the problem hello and welcome back everything crashed because my computer's on Wi-Fi, and I think that's the issue. It's my phone's Wi-Fi has no problem, but my computer's like, no, I don't like Wi-Fi. Okay, so you left a note at Elias's, Elias's burnt, burnt hole of a house. Yeah, nobody knows who what caused that. It's a mystery. <laughs> Uh, Maybe we'll figure it out next time. Yeah, it's it's your next investigation. Your your first yeah. investigation is this monster. Your next one is right. who burnt down Elias's house. Elias's house. Well, we know it wasn't us. Yeah, there's one list of subset suspects you can take off right off the bat. Um. Hello, for the fourth time. 
We'll see. We'll see how long this lasts. If it doesn't work, we're going to stop streaming and we're going to just record it and you can watch it later on YouTube. But for now it's working, so we'll keep on going. Okay. You have burnt down the cabin. Uh this you can just you do just that. did that. Uh no. You guys Oh. Did it go again? No. I think we're good. Oh. I think we're okay. Yep, okay, we're okay. Um, alright, so you guys left the cabin in the woods behind you after leaving a note for Elias. Um then A well a well marked note. Yes, by random footprint arrows in the snow. Giant footprint arrows. Random giant footprint arrows in the snow. It would point him right where he needs to go. Yes, hopefully he can follow directions. 